Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, or whenever you happen to find me. Welcome to our Daily Bread. September 8th, happy Sunday, and our author today is Tim Gustafson, and he will be analyzing Psalm 87, 7. All my foundations are in you. United at Last is our title. In a 1960, Otto Premier provoked controversy with his movie Exodus, based on Leon Ernest novel. It provides a fictional account of Jewish refugees immigrating to Palestine after World War II. The film concluded with the bodies of young European Jewish girl and an Arab man, both murdered victims buried in the same grave in what would soon be the nation of Israel. Premier leaves the conclusion to us. Is this a metaphor for despair or a dream forever buried? Or is it a symbol of hope as two peoples with a history of hatred, hostilities come together in death and in life? Perhaps the sons of Quran credited with the writing of Psalm 87, will take the latter view of the scene. They anticipate a peace. We still await of Jerusalem. They wrote, glorious things are said of you, city of God. They sang of a day when nations, all with the history of warring against the Jewish people, will come together to acknowledge the one true God of Rehab, Babylon and Philistines, Tyron, Cush, all will be drawn to Jerusalem and to God. The conclusion of Psalm is celebratory. People in Jerusalem will sing, All my foundations, springs, are in you. Who are they singing of? The one who is the living water, the source of all the life. Jesus is the only one who can bring lasting peace and unity. I pray, my Father, for the peace and unity of all people as they are drawn to you and your Son. Amen. Now a couple questions for us to think about. What conflicts, both global and personal, cause you distress? How will you trust God to bring about his peace? I, I trust in God our Father to bring us peace one day. Um, a lot of conflict, global conflict causes me distress. Global conflict causes me distress. Not the fact that there's conflict, but the fact that we still have war. This is 2024. You would think, as a human species, that majority people think evolution is real, that we would have evolved into a better way of solving our conflict. And we have yet to do that. So, if you guys want proof for evolution, uh, evolution is not real, first of all, our bodies still act as starvation mechanisms, which is why there's so many people who struggle to lose weight. And two, we're still warring with each other. We haven't evolved to a greater society to not still have that conflict. We, not, not just that conflict, but we feel the need to kill each other over disagreements. That's ridiculous. We need to evolve to a higher society. And I trust Jesus Christ will lead us to that one day. God bless you. And remember to be good to one another. Amen.